Today, Governor Newsom's office issued revised guidelines allowing the gatherings while still setting some specific limits. KCAL 9's Lori Perez spoke with church leaders about their legal victory. Tonight, the faithful are praising the Lord and the Supreme Court after the justices lifted California's ban on indoor worship services like this one we found tonight in downtown L.A. at one of Harvest International Ministries' 160 churches. Until now, the state has been prohibiting indoor celebrations in purple-tiered counties or those areas with the highest risk of COVID transmission. But late Friday, the high court ruled the ban violated First Amendment guarantees, what attorneys for Pasadena-based Harvest Rock Church have argued all along. The Supreme Court has said in California, there is no world in which the Constitution permits a governor with the mere flick of a pen to close churches while he keeps a vast majority of other non-religious gatherings open. L.A. County has, since December, already allowed inside services with limits on attendance, but this ruling now opens indoor worship for the whole state. In a statement tonight, the pastor for Harvest Rock Church said in part, for Christians, worshiping in person is an obedience to the Word of God. Harvest Rock Church has taken a stand for the average man whose rights are being stripped while elites continue to make their own rules. They're not being callously indifferent. They're just saying, well, if it's good enough for Lowe's and for Home Depot and Walmart and all the big box stores and some of these other facilities to have the chance to show, well, if we can take affirmative steps, whether it be distancing or masking or uh, enhanced sanitation, what have you, if that's good enough for others, then you should not be allowed to say, well, we don't trust a church to do that. The ruling comes as Southern California especially still struggles with enough people getting vaccinated and with variant cases growing. The high court said the state can still restrict the number of church attendees and ban singing and chanting indoors. Attorneys say they'll keep fighting those limitations. What is a music production about producing music? They're singing, they're chanting, they're playing instruments. If you allow those, then it's discriminatory if you impose a prohibition on singing just for religious purposes. Tomorrow morning before indoor in-person services here at Harvest Rock in Pasadena, church leaders say they'll hold a press conference to go over the Supreme Court decision. In Pasadena, I'm Lori Perez, KCAL 9 News. Well, it's not going to be